five. What is one piece? <laughs> right, so no more political questions. What is one piece of advice or wisdom that you consider crucial for personal growth and success? I've always discouraged those who want to leave the country. I said nine to five, nine to five, yes. You can always get a nine to five job when you leave the country, but you can never get the opportunity you will get in Nigeria. You can just wake up one day, you become a minister in Nigeria. You can just wake up one day, you become uh, a governor. It just happens. I, I, I don't know what kind of, how, how this country operates. So if you're looking for opportunity, please stay back in Nigeria. If you're looking for nine to five safety and all that, one of my friends said to me, but suppose you're waiting for that opportunity and they, they kill you. Well, maybe that, that's your destiny. Well, but your, honestly, the example you just honestly, gave the opportunities is, are here. Right. The example you just gave is for 5,000 or less positions, but we have 250 million people in this land of opportunities. So if you don't want them to jackpot, where are the opportunities? You well, said there's... You, 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 no, no. You, you, you just assume the opportunity is about being in public office. Understand. Just the Let's example. The I'm saying that based on your example. There are about and something million Nigerians. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm, I'm leaving that example now. Okay. So there are about 200, about 200 million Nigerians. Just assume that you start cooking um, more money and you sell to 10 million Nigerians at one naira. How much is that? But here, that's about, we also have, about 10 million. Yeah, but we are losing our best hands. Whether we like it or not, we cannot downplay the effect that Jack Bai is having in Nigeria as a whole. Uh, uh, it, 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 Especially in the medical field. We are losing the best of our doctors uh, when it comes to this. <laughs> so whether we like it or I'm not, avoiding, the situation... I'm avoiding where you're going to. No, no, no. It's, I'm, and it's not about politics now. We're just talking about welfare of Nigerians in general. Why are they leaving the shores of Nigeria? You, they are you, moving on to greener pastures. You can't discuss... Is that for, you is can't it a political discuss question? The welfare of Nigeria without discussing politics. It well, is, because you, you have to discuss with the issue of economy, who manages the economy, the government. You have to discuss the issue of safety and security, who manages safety and security, the government. You have to discuss the issue of uh, uh, the creation of opportunities, the creation of employment, and all that. So, what you can tell is uh, Nigerians get what they want, <laughs> Nigerians get what they, <laughs> what they deserve. You, you don't complain after. Deserve. You don't. I think that, yes, well, and I, I say that because you had opportunity, you had opportunity, Nigerians at all times, Ruth, can you please let me, Nigerians at all times have had opportunity to, to, to vote. Okay. Exactly. So okay. whatever you voted for is what you deserve now. <laughs> but again, again Ruth, let's not go into right. politics, election, please. No, 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 Just, I've given you the rule. Okay, my lips yes. are zipped. Mm. <laughs> zipped. No more politics. I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say the elections are not always free and fair. No, I'm saying you are that. saying that. I'm saying you that. You are saying yes. that. The elections are not always free and fair. So Nigerians are not getting what not, they yes, voted for. I have not said that. Oh, okay. okay. So in that sense, anyway, like I said, I don't but, know why. You again say You again You again say that. You again say that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> elephant in the room, so to speak. But anyway, um, HM, it's been interesting mm -hmm. to hear you talk. So looking back now to what you've been through and your experience that you have had, and if you had to advise younger Nigerians about their belief in Nigeria, what would you say to them? I asked your colleague the same question. So to round up, if you had to advise younger Nigerians on how to be in a better frame of mind and how to give them hope,